YouTube. This is your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. That's right, your world renowned, best in the world, outdoor, indoor barbecue. Yep, yep. Anyway, check it out. So the wife is sitting there and she said, I'm in the mood for some sausage. I said, well, well, well. Look what we have here. So, obviously, because I got kids around, I knew what she wasn't talking about. So I said, let me go out here because I just caught some sausage from Abbott's Smokehouse in Albany, Georgia. You ever been there? Or you stopping through there? Do a Google on them. Get you some beef and pork mixed together. They even got bell pepper and onion. And they used to have, uh, what do they used to have? Cheddar cheese or something? Jalapeno and cheddar cheese. Jalapeno and cheddar cheese mix. And, and uh, they used to have maple, but they stopped that. I guess it was a one-time thing. I should have just bought them all then. Anyway. Yep. I got some beef and pork mixed together. Right? And we're going to put them on this grill. I'm going to show you a new tool. It ain't new to me, but I ain't never used it. I bought it from Home Depot. Now I'm going to introduce it to the world. And I'm going to show it to y'all. Because I just came up with the bright idea of what I'm going to use it for. And I'm going to tell you what I originally bought it for. And we're going to go from there. And I'm going to show you my little concoction I put in the bottom of it. To make everything, everything. See you in the kitchen. Alright YouTube. We back. And you see by the title. We cooking sausage on my Weber Kettle Grill today. Uh, got a toy that I bought a while back. And I just couldn't figure out what the hell I'm going to use it for. You know what I mean? I bought it for my rotisserie and little hens and stuff like that. And um, just never got around to it. But I got an idea today. I'm going to try it with these sausages. Hold on. I'm going to break it to you piece by piece so you can see it. Kind of like Transformers. Right? Piece one. My handy dandy play setup. That's to put my liquid in the bottom. Keep the sausage from uh, sitting in there so it can steam. All that good type stuff. But hold up. I ain't even finished. Bam! Got one of these for it to sit a little bit high. It's right on in there. And then, at the end of the day, bam. Got slits in there. See, it's made by Troy Bro. Feel free to Google them if you want. Put my sausage in here. Let my little juice sit in there, whatever I want to uh, steam it up with. And put that on top and let the steam come out the top. Bam! Like I said, sausage today. Um, hold up. I ain't let you see the sausage. As I get ready to uh, cook them. Already thawed out. Beef and pork. Straight from Albany, Georgia at Abbott's. If you're in the area, feel free to Google them. Off the chain. Alright. Like I said, they already been cut up. Beef and pork, like I said. Fresh, not even a, um, yeah, about a week old. They've been in the freezer, so I had to thaw them out. And all I'm going to do is just sit them right inside here. Sit these. All I do is put my liquid in there. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Put these in there. And let my kettle grill do the steaming. We'll be back in a little bit. See y'all at the grill. Alright everybody, we back. Uh, now I was talking about my sausage and what kind of concoction I was going to put in there. Right? Obviously you got your onions, your bell peppers. I'll sweep them on in now. I've already put this in there because I let it sit. Get a picture of that. It's called Backwood Hickory Spice Rub. Right? So if you're ever in St. Augustine, Florida, you stop by this place, the Spice Tea Exchange. Um, they got a website, Spice and Tea. Um, matter of fact, y'all should be hitting me up, giving me a check for uh shout y'all out. But anyway, man, they're pretty good. Um, I put a little bit in there, a little bit more in there. Uh Give it some flavor, steam. Like I said, I'm going to take this, place it in, all right? Then I will take this, place it in. Sausage never touch the water. Yep, and 
They'll be good and ready. Trash that. And hold on, let me reseat this. There we go. Bam. There you go. Steam cooking at its fine. Easy day. All right. We'll see you outside. What's up, YouTube? We're back. Uh, grill's been going. Fire's on. Fire's lit. It's time to put this concoction on him. Alright, so I'm about to go ahead and take this off. Get this going. Uh, yep. Place that on there. I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to open this up. Probably asking me why. Hold up. I'm about to show you. Know what this is? This is a wood chip holder, right? Remember what we was talking about with the wood chips? Um, you want smoke, not steam, right? No water here. This will give me exactly what I need, huh? <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna stick this in here. Just lock it on in here. Create some steam. And I'm using this cherry wood chips, old natural cowboy wood chips. Right? What's the purpose of cooking smoked sausage? You don't got no smoke. So we're gonna make it happen. Close this. Slide this over. Hot. Close up. Close my lid. We'll be ready to get it Come back in about an hour. It'll be good to go. Alright, sorry about that. I'm a neighbor talking about they ready to come get a plate. That's how we do over here. I let your boy. I'll come show you when it's ready. What's up, you two? We back. I'm about to show you all these sauces. Oh. That's all. Fire still blazing. Look at them sauces. No burnt. Look at that. Damn, I wish I could smell that. Woo! Look at that. What you know about that? Huh? What you know about that? The Cajun here. Ah. We grew right here. <laughs> Alright. I'm about to take these in the house. They've been on for exactly one hour and 28 minutes. Alright. Ladies and gents. This is how you smoke sausage, the traditional way. So go out and buy you a char bro, uh, thingy me bob, right? You can Google it, find it, whatever. I found it in there. We're on top shelf. We weren't even available for sale. I begged them to sell it to me. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And holla at your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue.